that is events hyphen app component dot ts where we displayed hello world on our web page so this component once we have created we included this component in app dot module dot ts under declarations array and then we rendered this components data that is template data by making use of this selector that is events hyphen app selector we included under index.html or here so this rendered whatever the message we displayed in our component template this message got displayed on our web page so this is what we did till now so next what we want to do is we want to include bootstrap as well as jquery into our project so let's see how we can do that we have to use the command npm space install ngf hyphen bootstrap hyphen hyphen save so we need to make use of this command to to install bootstrap into our project so let's run this command so now if you observe over here our bootstrap got installed successfully to our project so 67 packages are looking for it it got installed successfully now once it's installed how we can make sure that bootstrap got installed successfully let's navigate to node modules inside node modules you can find an entry for bootstrap if you scroll down here see so here you can see bootstrap dist css we can find bootstrap styling for that is bootstrap.min.css here and we can also find js here that is bootstrap.min.js okay so we have both js file as well as bootstrap.css for styling which got included over here once we installed bootstrap okay so next step i want to make use of the this bootstrap in our project that we can do by providing path for this entry so insert angular.json in our project angular.json we need to include the path for the bootstrap okay under styles here you can see that styles.css has been provided as path here we also need to include bootstrap right so we need to include path for the bootstrap so where is it actually located under node modules so after node modules under ngf hyphen bootstrap slash dist slash bootstrap dot main dot css okay so this is where bootstrap dot main dot css got installed so if you observe here you can find the same path okay this is under node modules bootstrap okay then dist okay bootstrap dot main dot css okay now we also need to include under scripts we need to include the js file as well okay so let's do that here we need to include the path for the js file under node modules slash bootstrap slash dist slash js slash bootstrap dot js okay so we have included the path for bootstrap now we also want jquery to be included so jquery also got installed successfully okay along with bootstrap we also need to include jquery so that we can do by providing path for jquery as well that is node modules jquery slash dist slash jquery dot min dot js so this is the path for jquery we have provided the path for jquery as well as bootstrap now next step we want to understand whether the bootstrap which we installed here is working fine or not so let's make some changes to our project to see the bootstrap got successfully installed or not so let's do that next 
okay so to test the bootstrap content is working fine in our project let's include a class inside index.html so inside index.html body i am going to include a class equals content okay i am including this class here inside index.html and inside style.css i want to provide some styling for this container okay so here i'll provide as dot container i'll provide some padding on top like around 10 pixel okay i'll save these changes just to check whether bootstrap is installed successfully or not okay so once these changes are done next we need to run the command npm space start okay once npm space start is command is run it will be compiled successfully now we need to observe the browser whether our bootstrap content is getting displayed or not so let's open the browser so it's hosted in localhost colon 4200 if you can see here localhost colon 4200 it's hosted so let's open that okay localhost colon 4200 see now you can see the bootstrap country content getting loaded on our web page you can see the gray background over here and you can see that hello world is getting displayed with some padding also whatever the padding we introduced that got that is getting displayed over here so we are sure that bootstrap content got installed onto our project so now the initial setup is done next step we want to render the data that is component bound data into our template so that on our web page we can display the events which are taking place in india that is uh, technological events i want to display some sample events let's display on the web page so in the next video let's see this okay thank you so much for watching this video guys please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos